Hey YouTube, so today I'll be showing you how to build a swirl filter using a 55 gallon drum, some different PVC fittings, some PVC pipe, and some uni seals. So let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is cut off the lid of the 55 gallon drum and then rinse it out so you can clean off everything in it. This one had vinegar, so after I cut the lid, just clean it out. What I like to do is put it on the side like this, take a circular saw and just cut along here. And it's pretty simple. So you get a clean cut and it's pretty fast. So last night I cut the lid off and cleaned the 55 gallon drum. And now we'll drill the holes for the uni seals. So what you need to do this is pretty much a drill, some drill bits which are for the pilot holes, and then some hole saws. These are to drill the bigger holes for the uni seals. So it should be, I already marked off where I wanted to put the holes, so I'm actually putting four on this one. Um, so to begin, you, I have my marks already, you can see that right there. So you want to drill the pilot holes first in each of the spots and then we can go ahead and drill the bigger holes with the hole saws. Okay, now that we have the pilot holes, let's go ahead and drill the bigger holes with the hole saws. So we'll first do the two inch. Um, I can attach a chart for the sizes that you need for the uni sills. Um, there's certain websites you can look at, or, or you can estimate it by comparing it to the uni seal. So I have the uni seal here. You can just see if it works. So it's pretty simple after you have the pilot holes. Just match it up. harder to do because the drill bit isn't longer than the, the hole saw. As you can see like on this one, the drill bit exceeds the hole saw, but on this one it doesn't. So I'll first do the smaller ones and then figure out for the bigger one. Alright, so I have a one inch at the bottom here. I also have a half, half inch hole. so. I'll do that one next. So yeah, for the for the inch uni seal, I am using an um, inch and three quarters um, to get the right size for that. So as you can see, it fits in there. Look at that. So I'll first um, file these down and get all the little pieces away, and then put them in. So this is my drain hole here at the bottom, and then. The half inch hole is just, in, it's an overflow, just in case um, anything gets clogged in the system, it will overflow out of this one. Right, as you were noticing, I was having a little difficulty with the, the hole for the two inch uni seal. So I was able to move this out a little more so it'll make it much easier. got my four different holes so now that we have the holes we'll take just a simple file and go along to smooth out the sides um, to make sure that you don't cut the uni seal don't do too much because you don't want to make the hole bigger just take off the and then you'll be good I'll also rinse this out a little to get all the plastic out I don't want that in my aquaponic system So just so you know what I used for the um, for the two inch uni seal, I used a three three inch hole saw. For the one inch uni seal, I used an inch and three quarters. And for the half inch uni seal, I used 
a two and a half inch um, hole saw to give them sufficient hole sizes. So actually a knife might be easier to get rid of those bigger pieces that you need to cut off. So the holes are all cut now, so now we're going to put the uni seals in. So what you first want to do is get some rubbing alcohol. Um, you could use water as well. You want to clean the surfaces of the, get the drum and as well as of the uni seals. This gets rid of all the little particles and the dirt on there and then allows it to have a better seal. We're going to go all around the outside inside of this and around here. And you want to take the uni seal. For this one it's a two inch. So you go around here. So I have four different holes on this swirl filter because the one is coming from my fish tank. It's uh, via gravity. This one goes into the other filter I'll be building. This one right here will be an overflow, um, just in case anything goes wrong. Since the pipes are pretty big, I doubt it will be needed, but you know, safety precaution. And then this one down here will be the drain hole. Um, I'll have a ball valve on there, so when I need to clean it out, I can open that up and drain it out. Okay, so now I got all the pieces cut to make the swirl filter. This will be what is creating the swirl. Um, so there's a T, I'm using two inch pipe because of the system I'm making, but there's a, a two inch T with two inch 90s at the end. They are slightly angled. This creates a downward spin around the, a swirl around the um, 55 gallon drum. That's why it's called a swirl filter. So this will be going through here and then the water will be going from here into the other filter I'm building. And yeah, so the easy, and then the different other pieces I have, this will be the drain pipe. This will go at the bottom. It's a one inch with an adapter at the bottom to go to the ball valve. And then this I can open up and drain it when I need to clean it. And then it'll be like this. You can take better views later, but this will be inside at the bottom. This way it can suck up all the debris that is stuck at the bottom when I need to clean it. And yeah, so the easiest way to do it, sometimes it's hard to push through here. The easiest way is to make everything wet, uh, or make the pieces wet. So I'll first show you that later but that is the highest point so in case there is any problems it will overflow from there and go directly to my sump tank this one I'll put in later this is connecting this to the other filter I'll be setting up now on the inside as I said I'll have this so it can suck up all the gunk at the bottom. And now from here, it will go at an angle up towards my fish tank and through gravity it will flow to all my grow beds. So I'll put water on this and put this through this and connect it to the swirl part and show you how that works. You can see here I finished setting up my swirl filter. I still need to connect it to my other filter I'll be setting up from here. But here's how the inside looks. So it comes from my fish tank over there, comes down through here, and then the water comes out through these two areas. They're angled so it creates a spin. And then I have the drain down here. So yeah, that's the swirl filter I created. Alright, so thank you for watching. Just to give you a little review of the tools I use. So, I use a circular saw to cut the 55 gallon drum. I had a drill for drilling the holes. And to drill the holes, I use these hole saws, different sizes. I can put a link below to the sizes you need for the different uni seals. 
um, some alcohol for cleaning around the uni sills and the holes and of course some drill bits to do the pilot holes so yeah that's the video of how to construct your own 55 gallon drum swirl filter if you have any comments or questions please let me know below leave a like and thank you for watching